We're going to do a poll, and it's going to be a very nice poll. And it, right? <laughs> Who's your favorite candidate? Who would you like? Let's do it. Who would you most like to run against? Because, you know, you could say, who's the best candidate? We're saying, who would you like to? We'll start with Kamala Harris, and then, and then we'll go, and then we'll go to Crooked Joe Biden, and then we could possibly discuss a few others. So who would you like to most run against if you're us, if we want to win? Ready? Kamala Harris. Crooked Joe Biden. Yeah. All right. I don't think we have to go too much further. Well, you have a terrible governor here who did a terrible job. Whitman. I'd like to run against her, actually. I'd like to run against her. No, she's one of the 20 that I mentioned. She's the one that gave her husband full right title and interest to everything, but nobody else could do anything but her husband. Her husband was sailing in the middle of your lake, your beautiful lake. He's out there sailing, and everybody else had to be locked up, right? Her husband. No, but things like that are mentioned during a campaign, little things like that. No, she's done a terrible job, but I hope I'd be very happy with her. At this very moment, Democrat Party bosses are frantically trying to overthrow the results of their own party's primaries to dump crooked Joe Biden from the ballot. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. <laughs> and as you're seeing, the Democrat Party is not the party of democracy. They're really the enemies of democracy, the parties of corrupt insiders like Whitmer, special interests, and the failed political class. That's what they are. Under our leadership, the Republican Party is now the party of the people. We're the party of hardworking Americans of every race, religion, color, and creed. We become a very big party. We become, right, fellas? You know what I'm talking about. I love you guys. We love you guys. No, we become, we become a very big party. We have Increased in size, nobody's ever, honestly, in history, there's never been anything like this movement. And that may be in the history of the world, but let's keep it down to the country for right now, because that's the thing. But there's never been anything like MAGA. When Biden says, we have to stop MAGA, we will stop MAGA. I said, he doesn't know what MAGA stands for. It stands for Make America Great Again. How can you be against that? How can you be against it? And you know, the other side's going around trying to make me sound extreme. I'm like, I'm an extremist. I'm not. I'm a person with great common sense. I'm not an extremist at all. Like some on the right, severe right, came up with this Project 25, and I don't even know. I mean, some of them, I know who they are, but they're very, very conservative, just like you have — they're sort of the opposite of the radical left, okay? You have the radical left, and you have the radical right, and they come up with this pro — I don't know what the hell it is. It's Project 25. He's involved in Project — and then they read some of the things, and they are extreme. I mean, they're seriously extreme. But I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it. But what they do is misinformation and disinformation, and they keep saying, he's a threat to democracy. I'm saying, what the hell did I do for democracy? Last week, I took a bullet for democracy. What did I do against democracy? Crazy.